Ladies and gentlemen, as patron of the Keats Shelley Memorial Association, I, I would like to welcome you to this wonderful house. In 2003, I succeeded my grandmother, Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother, as patron, who had had a long and happy relationship with the association. And it gives me great pleasure to welcome you here today. The association launched its centenary appeal in 2008 to celebrate 100 years since the establishment of this Keats Shelley House in Rome uh, as a museum and library and to raise funds for an ambitious program of restoration and renovation. As a result of the appeal and the generosity of the association's many friends, donors and supporters, the house is now furnished with a gift and ticket shop, improved visitor facilities and this exhibition and film room, along with improvements to the exterior of the house, the basement and to the historic core of the museum on the second floor, which uh, contains the apartment in which John Keats so tragically passed away in 1821. I'm delighted that such good work has been completed to preserve this important international treasure and to allow its collections to be cared for and exhibited to the standards of a 21st century museum and library. The centenary appeal represented the end of one chapter in the history of the house, but it was also the beginning of the next. I would therefore like to thank all those who have supported and will continue to support the Keats Shelley Memorial Association throughout the years in order to help ensure the longevity of this splendid institution. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that it is our duty to ensure the survival of this historic place for generations to come, so that each year thousands of visitors from all over the world will continue to find here a link with two of the greatest poets in the language, whose lives were tragically cut short, but whose fame is everlasting.